Hi, we're here today with Tom from Hunt Wheels, who's going to talk us through the new Super Dura Dynamo disc wheels. Uh, so Tom, who do you uh, see these new wheels being appealing for? So um, the Super Dura Dynamo disc, um, originally Josh Hibbert's been working for us for a couple of years. Um, he was our first full-time employee. Um, he won the Transcontinental in 2015. And one of the occasions, he actually raced with uh, Dynamo Hub. This, in fact, this Dino Hub, um, and he loves the freedom that gives you. Um, now for the really super competitive end of that, he focuses on batteries, but for that kind of freedom, lack of, um, or requirement to have to think about charging all the time, and he's about to go on a new adventure around the world where he's gonna be a long way from villages and towns where he will not have the option to charge devices. Um, but also, I think, you know, it's great for just normal people, a bit more like us. Maybe we will go on some trips at the weekend on our bikes, do a bit of bivying or get in between different places where we don't really want to have to worry where's the next place we can charge up our um, lights or maybe if you want to, you can run a GPS from a dynamo. Um, and also things like commuting every day. Um, you know, the if you've got a 45 minute commute, half an hour commute, and you're doing that through winter, you're gonna be needing to charge your you know, good quality light up pretty much every day. Um, whereas with the Dynamo Hub, you don't have to worry about that. You know, it's complete freedom from, from that kind of worry. It's always going to work wherever you are. You're not going to have to abandon your ride because you've got to charge up your lights. I mean, regularly we've gone to the garage and gone, oh, no, I haven't charged the lights up. Can't ride today, this, this morning to work or whatever because we've forgotten. So, you know, you don't have to worry. So. And do you want to tell us a little bit about the tech that's involved then? Um, so yeah, so this is the, as I said, Super Duro Dynamo disc wheel. Um, this features a Son Deluxe Dynamo. Um, so it's effectively like a little electric motor that runs backwards um, and produces power, alternating current. And then you have Dynamo lights generally are designed to work with alternating currents. So this is Exposure Revo. Um, and it's really easy. It comes with, the light comes with a connector, a cable, sorry. And then the hub comes with a connector that you just connect up, um, crimp it down with a pair of pliers heat shrink, the little heat shrinks on with a hairdryer um, and then cable it up and it's ready to go and you can pull those on and off if you want to disconnect it. Um, and it drops in and out like a normal hub. So this is on a 12 millimeter um, Mason Boca fork, so it's dead easy. Um, and in terms of the technology side, um, the Dynamo hub from Son that we use is a Son Deluxe. Yeah. So there's a couple of nice features about that. Um, it produces um, the standard six uh, volt three watt output um, but they've actually for drop bar bikes obviously they, they tend to go a little bit faster than the town bikes that most dynamos are designed for sure. um, so they actually made it 20 percent smaller the generator and obviously the hub ends up a bit lighter as well um, and also that reduces the drag you get maybe four watts of drag at like about 11 12 miles an hour um, whereas on a traditional dynamo setup with a bigger generator um, you would get about 20% more drag um, because it's a 20% bigger uh, generator. But for drop bar bikes, they run faster, so you don't really need that. And with that, so at 11 or 12 miles an hour on an exposure Revo light, you're getting 800 lumens. Um, and even at the standard kind of 10 miles an hour that you would get that output on a standard dynamo, you're still getting over 500 lumens from the um, Revo uh, exposure Revo lights. So you get really good output, very strong. And that's, you know, it's good enough for riding off road. Um, with great visibility as well as you know plenty of lane riding and things like that cool. so you've got a real high quality hub there what, yeah. you've matched it up with what um so the wheel set is focused as kind of a performance lightweight but bomb proof kind of all-rounder um for the types of riding that a lot of us do you know you want that durable wheel set for commuting to work but you might want to go very long distances do some bike packing but also the event type people um you know where you're looking at loading up with a bit of weight um, and also probably a little bit more off-road type riding so it's got 32 spokes um, and it's got brass nipples which are corrosion resistant it's got a nice wide rim from our gravel disc wheel set um, so it's 25 millimeters wide 20 millimeter internal so it works really well with um, you know bigger off-road tires as well as road tires so 25s 28s will work fine right up to kind of 48 50 mil uh, wide tyres, um, so really good for a wide range of uses, but still all comes in at like 1939, 1940 grams um, for a wheel set, which with the Dynamo added in, 
is a very competitive weight and actually still quite a lot lighter even though it's got the dynamo than maybe many of the disc wheel sets that would come as original equipment on a disc brake bike um, and also you're obviously adding about 240 grams for the dynamo front hub but the front light is very very light it's only 110 grams um, whereas something that produced that kind of power for a long period would be several hundred so grams in terms of light. of the overall system the, the difference is it's very small. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and another interesting thing that's not always obvious, um, but when you take, obviously when the light's on and connected, you are drawing maybe four watts of your power to achieve the light output. But when you disconnect it, it's actually only half a watt more than a good quality front hub would be. So you can just unplug it and then you're just running like a normal front hub would, so you've not got loads of extra draw. Um, and so uh, what are we talking about in terms of price and uh, when the wheels going to be available? Um, so in terms of price, <coughs> you're looking at um, 499 for the wheel set. We do sell the front separately for 329. Um, and we do it with a package with the Exposure Revo as well, where you get a bit of a, uh, a deal on the pet on the set. Um, and availability is June week two. Um, and also within that, you get um, a five. You get standard two-year warranty on the wheel set, but actually on the Dynamo itself. Son and through us offer a five-year warranty that includes bearings as well because they have a pressure compensation system which helps to Im make a big difference to the, di the um, bearing life because dynamos kind of have a bit of an issue sometimes with heating and cooling um, and that can cause low pressure inside the hub that sucks water into the bearing sometimes whereas their pressure compensation system means they expect you to get 50,000 to 100,000 kilometers out of the, the set of bearings. So we can offer that five year warranty, which is really good on that on that front hub. So yeah, well it's, it's pretty bomb proof, we think. So. All right, Tom, thank you very much for talking to us these new wheels. Cheers, thank you very much.